And there are these two components that are necessary for us to be able to take full advantage of all that he died for. And I don't want one stripe to go to waste. You know, I don't want one nail to go to waste. If he suffered it and he did it on my behalf, I want to take full advantage, okay? And so, of course, heaven is like key, and that's the most important thing, forgiveness of sins, receiving eternal life. But I believe that our lives in this life, in this world, are supposed to re reflect uh, freedom. They are supposed to be a picture of, of people that are not just forgiven, they're a rascal, but forgiven, but literally, they're now overcomers. They, are, they, live, um, they live in victory. And, and so the individual who has, uh, you know, you may describe your own life and say, uh, you know, I've received the Lord. I'm, I'm on my way to heaven. But I have trouble resisting temptation. I feel helpless at times. I feel like I can't say no, and I keep falling into the same traps again and again. Um, that's also what the Lord set us free from. Not from being tempted, but, but from being subject to it. Uh, he didn't want us to go through life where we, where we continually fall and get up and receive forgiveness and beat ourselves over the head a few times and, and then fall again, but, but literally to where we stop falling. And, and we need to believe from the get-go that that's a possibility. So, I mean, if someone just says, well, I don't think we could ever go a whole day without sinning. Well, that's not true. That's not, you won't find that scripture. That even after you're saved, you can never, because then if you're going to say you can't go a whole day, how about half a day? Could you go half a day? You know, if you can't go half a day, could you go an hour? If you can't do it, could you do five minutes? And my, my suspicion is that if I could not sin for five minutes, maybe I could do ten. Maybe I could go an hour. Maybe I could go a whole day. Is the power available? Has God granted grace sufficient not only to forgive me, but to elevate my life to where I live victorious over all this junk? I believe that's absolutely the case. And so uh, we're free from the curse we're free from the bondage of being subject and powerless, free from the powerlessness to change. And, uh, and I'm thankful for that. You know, how many know grace, the grace of God, which we love so much and we live in, is not divine permission to live an ungodly lifestyle, but rather it's divine empowerment to overcome.